Well, it may be hard to believe, but LeBron is not the only big sports story in town this weekend. The Cleveland Clinic Sports Health International Youth Festival is in full swing. News Channel 5's John Kosick took in some of the festivities, and he joins us live with more. John? Yeah, Danita, the only thing bigger than the name of the festival itself is its impact on youth sports here and the economy. The fields of the Lost Nation Sports Complex seeing non-stop action is one of several sites playing host to the Cleveland Clinic Sports Health International Festival. 3,200 athletes from 18 countries spending an estimated $4 million here this weekend. 12 or more hotels this year, completely full. We have 600 kids staying at John Carroll. And boy, I'll tell you, we're close here. If you ask the people at Beecher Place or Legacy Village, um, the anecdotal stories we're hearing are phenomenal. And we're actually running shopping shuttles. So every hour, kids can, and the families can jump on buses and get over there for shopping, and they are spending. While the festival is dedicated to soccer, baseball, and basketball, it is soccer that is king, giving kids an international yardstick against which to measure their play. I think a lot of kids... We play in our own little world here in the United States, and then you see some of the uh, foreigners, how much they are more advanced than us. But we're coming along, we're doing a great job of just getting up to the rest of the world. It doesn't hurt that the tournament this year coincides with the World Cup. We found people huddled around the television to watch the end of the Ghana-Uruguay game. It's weird to see an American football crowd watching real football. Exactly, exactly. You know, we will never take over football, but I think, you know, we're gaining ground that um, a lot of people now, they're enjoying the sport of soccer. A seed planted in the young minds taking part this weekend. This is the future. I mean, this is this is the breeding ground for, for kids that will possibly play. So it's always nice to have the two in correlation so that they can uh, feed off each other. And next year they are hoping to grow from 3,200 athletes to 4,500 with the addition of lacrosse. And the World Cup, by the way, continues tomorrow morning right here on Channel 5 at 10 with Germany and Argentina. Reporting live in the newsroom, John Kasich, News Channel 5. All right, John, thank you very much. New tonight.